I didn't think I'd see the day that I'd be able to emulate my favorite retro games on my watch. Because Apple has lowered their rules and regulations regarding emulators coming to the App Store, we have had a flood of new apps come to iOS, which is a little later than you Android folks, but it's here. It means a lot of us can play our retro games on the go. And by go, I literally mean on your wrist now. So this one actually went under the radar and I want to share with you how you can get it on your Apple Watch as easy as possible, step by step. So let's jump in. So you may think you need to install this using your Apple Watch, which you can do, but it is a little complicated. I recommend going straight to your iPhone because you actually need your iPhone for the initial setup. So head straight to your App Store and search for a game called Arc MU by Arcadia. Purchase this, it is $1.99 or £1.99 here in the UK, which is reasonable. I didn't think emulators were allowed to gatekeep their application using paywalls because that's how Nintendo get a little bit frustrated in terms of the law but here we are for $1.99 there's this new emulator that originally started as an emulator on your iPhone as you can see but it uses the Apple Watch to basically play your Game Boy games exclusively which is pretty cool so download that and you'll be greeted with the application itself. Now, it's gonna want you to basically download ROMs. Now, I personally use my actual physical cartridge and I rip the ROM files using a product called GP Operator from a company called Epilogue, or I know a lot of you seem to find other ways to access and download ROMs, which shall not be mentioned on this channel. So. When you do download your ROMs, you simply install them onto your phone into the Files app. And it's pretty easy. You press this plus button and it will ask you to search for your ROMs. They must be in .gb, .gbc and .gba files or zip files for it to work. Now, this is a much better search function than many uh, emulators on your iPhone. I simply just type in .gb and it will show you all of the files ending or with the word .gb inside. And if you want to install, do I have a game here that I haven't installed? I don't think so. But once you find it, oh yeah, here we go, Super Mario Advance. Once I press that, it will actually download it into your homepage of ArcMU. And you can jump into the settings and change stuff, like you can change the color should you want to. Let's change that to red, shall we? You can also change the D-pad directions as well. But what I want to do is I want to get all of these onto my Apple Watch. Now you need to head into the App Store on your Apple Watch. And this is pretty easy, it should already be downloaded, or if you head into the App Store, all you have to do is press open because you've already paid for it on your iPhone. And once you jump in, you may realize that your ROM files are not yet on your Apple Watch. Give it a few seconds, like so, and it will basically say ROM received from your iPhone, and it will all be here. The, it hasn't come up with red, but you can set that in here if you want to go into settings and you can change the color and stuff like that. You can also go into your main settings if you want to change the frame rate, the volume and vibration as well. I have the Series 7 here and it does run silky smooth. So I've got a Game Boy game and a Game Boy Advance games on here. For example, if we take a little look at Pokemon Gold, for example, you can see the design layout here. Now, the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy games have obviously the 4x3 display, so it does look a little awkward, and I don't like that the, the clock is still on here, but you get the idea, like, it works. If I jump into here and press all the D-pad stuff, it works, and if you want to save, so the menu button's at the top, if you want to save state, load state, I don't think I've played uh, Pokemon Gold on here, but I have played Pokemon Emerald. So this is what the Game Boy Advance games would look like. Pretty damn simple. It's far more appealing visually using Game Boy Advance games because of the uh, ratio of the screen. And you can click open menu, load state, you can click your, your latest user slot and it will jump straight into the game. And now if I actually turn on the sound, I am now playing Game Boy Advance games on my Apple Watch, which is absolutely absurd. Admittedly, the text is tiny and my neck and eyes are just constantly like, oh, Jesus Christ, I feel like an old man, but 
it works. And for $1.99, I just think it's an absolute bargain. The only issue is, right, when you're moving it around, it puts it into sleep. And if you take it off and you want to play on your hand, if you take your hand away from the back sensor, it just goes into sleep mode thinking that it's off your wrist. So you do have to pretty much play this on your wrist one-handed. The menu's pretty simple, quit, reset, load, save. There is only like one load state, which is your user slot. So this is the last save that you've, you've done and you won't need to actually save it within the games as well. It doesn't take a lot of power to emulate Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance games for that matter. So on my Apple Watch Series 7, I've had no issues with frame rates or audio. You can go for the larger screen on the, is it the Apple Watch Pro? You get a couple of millimeters extra if that helps. But what I do like is that the application itself on the iPhone is incredibly uh, minimalist. You know, it's easy to understand, very easy to source your ROMs. And when you go into a game, if you've been playing on your Apple Watch, you can actually press the home button load state and it will actually have an apple watch slot as well should i want to load exactly where my apple watch was from so if i go into here it should be exactly where i left off uh user slot should be exactly the same look now that is pretty neat if you ask me you know this isn't the most visually pleasing emulator on the iPhone at all. It's very, very simple, but it does the job and it's the first Apple Watch emulator out there. I can see this becoming a bit of a trend. Like not everyone has an Apple Watch, but if these applications on the iPhone can just, you know, make a few fixes and add the Apple Watch capabilities, I think that will entice a few more users to, uh, to buy it, which is really cool. So I just wanted to make this quick video because this one did go under the radar for me and I just wanted to make a simple guide showcasing that you can actually play Game Boy games on your Apple Watch now, which is pretty cool. So if you do enjoy that and want this in text format, do visit our website. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, you can support us on Patreon and premium members will get a welcome kit as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.